Hey everybody, it's Chris from Prepared My 101 out here with uh, Will and Austin from Manus Outdoors. I uh, figured I'd give you a chance to see a couple other different styles of knives from what I usually have on here. Me personally, you know that I tend to favor Topps knives for my outdoor bushcraft type stuff. Got the uh, Topps Brothers of Bushcraft and the MSK on me now, but uh, Will and Austin got some different things to show you, so I figured I'd let him throw his knives up on here for once and uh, let you see some different stuff. So, anyway, here's Will. Hi right, guys, well Chris wanted me to kind of show you the knives that I carry on me right now. You know, the knives that I carry always evolve. I, I, I change from time to time, depending on the situation, time of year even sometimes. Uh, I used to carry um, a BHK Frontier Valley on my neck. I no longer carry that right now. I still have that knife. I love that knife. It served me very well for a very long time. If you've ever seen me on this channel, you've definitely seen that knife before. Uh, but definitely what is always on me is a Leatherman. And this is a Leatherman Super Tool. And the knife that is with that comes on that, the straight edge knife, is really, really good in my opinion for just you know small stuff. I want to save my other knives. You know, I just you know, pull this out, do a little carving task, notching, whatever I have to do, what have you. Uh, it has a saw on it. You know, this isn't really um, a Leatherman review. This is just the blades that I have on me. Uh, I'll be doing a, a review on this super tool here really soon. But other than that, I have a, uh, let me this back in my pocket. <laughs> I have a knife that Chris actually gave me that doesn't leave my side. I always carry this thing. Not only because, you know, my friend gave it to me, but it's a really, really nice knife. It's the Kershaw. I don't know. Do you know what Kershaw Swerve. is? It's Kershaw Swerve. You know, very, very nice knife. You know, just for everyday carry. You know, then that's what it is. I carry this every day. Work, everything. This doesn't usually leave my pocket. Really, really nice knife. It's assisted open. This isn't from Walmart. Walmart, actually, their, uh, their swerve is completely different. This is a very, very nice knife. And that's just a knife that I carry on me every day, even in the woods. But the actual knives that I would call my bushcraft knives, the, my made knife would be a Pathfinder Scout. And this knife is an absolute beast. It does every single task that I want it to do. It's a little big for smaller tasks, but it, it does them very, very well. The spine on this knife is absolutely sharp. You can almost cut your finger with the spine. I mean, it is a very, very sharp spine. It's 01 tool steel, so it takes a spark very, very well with a rock. Has a hardness of seven or better. Chris always makes fun of me for saying that because I say it all the time. <laughs> but you can see that it's been used for that as well. I've started many fires just with this knife. And the handles of this knife are absolutely phenomenal in my opinion. Nice and round. I can use this knife for an hour straight. You know, carving and doing whatever I need to. And my hand's not going to cramp up. It's not going to fatigue because it's not digging into me really hard. Other than that, Alright, so the last knife that I have on me is a new knife that a buddy of mine designed. His name is Sean the Silver Fox. And his knife maker is Chris Grant out of Scotland. And this is a very, very, very nice knife. It's, it's a working piece of art, if you ask me. It's the Silver Fox Cub Knife. And it's got bird's eye maple handles, black inlays. And the handle, it to me, is phenomenal. This thing fits me like a glove. This is actually a stainless steel knife, and that's something new to me. I usually do not carry any stainless steel knives, but the edge retention on this is absolutely phenomenal. I've used this knife for almost, uh, it's been about three months now. I stropped it once. That's the only thing I've done, and that was not too long ago, actually. Uh, the, this thing cuts like butter. It's unbelievable. I actually give this to Chris here for a little bit, let him cut some feathers on it, see what he thinks over here in a little bit. But the reason why it's okay, in my opinion, to have this knife be stainless steel is because it's not my main knife. It's a companion knife. You know, this is something that I'm not going to have to do as much tool maintenance with. You know, my Pathfinder knife, like I said, is 01 tool steel. It's a carbon steel. And you're going to have to pay attention to it so it doesn't rust, doesn't pit. You have to keep, uh, <clears throat> you know, some kind of, of fat on it, like animal fats or what have you. But this knife, you really don't have to worry about that very much. And uh, like I said, this thing is phenomenal. I'm very, very, very impressed with that right now. Well, like Will said, this is a very, very nice knife. 
a little too nice for me, but you said stainless steel. Is this like, what is this, like S35? Or Man, it's like RWL something. I can't remember. It's it's a, it's a very, very good steel. It's got a heck of an edge on it, I'll say that much. I'm uh, just kind of getting a... I mean, I'm not even going too far into the wood. And it's doing some really fine curls. Like, wow. This thing's almost a mirror. Well, I, I'd say this is a mirror polish. Yeah, it, it, I can use it for single. I've kind of tested it out. So, definitely does curls no problem. Yeah, I mean, it's a nice knife, but, you know, what's the downside? How long did it take you to get it? it took me almost a year. A year. It's a custom made knife. Yeah, it's very. Very high art value, functional, but it's not something you're gonna. You, you think it takes a long time to get your Godspeed sheath? So, sorry, Eli, if you happen to see this. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's something like this gonna take you a long. I mean, I remember him telling me about this like a long time ago. It's like, okay, where's this knife at? Finally, it shows up. You know, planets aligned. The planets aligned. Uh, yeah. Saturn was in conjunction with. Venus or something. Yeah, I'm but, really impressed with it though. But yeah, it definitely got a very fine edge. It feels like it's got a sharp, I mean this is not something I would strike sparks on, it's so nice. But Well, I mean I, I use it for a ferro rock. Oh you do? Yeah, you're not going to get sparks off of a rock, I mean it's kind of steel. Well, I, when, when I say sparks, me, I'm talking ferro rocks. No, ro no rocks with a Hardness or seven and greater, bear my 101. <laughs> so. Yeah, I mean, this knife has a great, great edge on it. Amazing. We did this one too with that same blade, you know. Pretty nice. Well, let's get Austin over here and see what he's carrying. Got the uh, PLS K1, which actually used to be Will's. <laughs> I think they've actually seen this one before in a couple of videos. Probably have. That one's 01 tool steel, scanty ground. Yeah. The pattern after French trade knife. Yep, French trade knife. That's kind of what the uh, inspiration for that knife was. It is a, a scanty grind. <clears throat> it is. Uh, Hold that up. Austin's not really used to doing knife reviews. <laughs> the handle on that again is, is absolutely phenomenal. Really contours to to uh, your hand really well. Tons wood, great. Ton wood like a dream. It's not going to break. If you break it. A lifetime warranty on it, send it back to BHK, which is Battle Horse Knives at this moment. <clears throat> uh, it, there's not there's, there's not enough that I can say about that knife. I mean, it served me very, very, very well over the years. And, you know, I wanted to switch to this, uh, <clears throat> switch to the Scout. And Austin needed a knife, um, you know, really bad. He's been out in the woods with me as much as I go out in the woods, which is a lot. So, you know, I figured he needed a really good knife. And, uh, you know, and I, I, as much as I love this knife and I hated to see it go, but it, it was, it's going to a good place. You know, it's going to a good home, someone that uses it on a daily basis almost. And I think I've never seen him without it on, even when he's just coming over to hang out. So, I mean, it definitely went to a good home. 
and somebody that needed a good knife. So I had my scout, and I said, you know what, why don't you just buy my PLSK one off me, you know? So I sold him the whole rig and everything. Why don't you show that rig? The rig from Voyager Leatherworks. It's got the, uh, the pouch on the inside or on the outside there. It's got the uh, ferro rod holder, obviously. It's really, really nice to have a knife that you can just take the snaps off and take the whole knife off. I don't have to take the belt off or anything like that. Uh, like I said, it's got a little pouch in here. Um, it probably has the same stuff that I had in here. It doesn't have chaga in there anymore. It doesn't have chaga in there anymore. It has some all up. <laughs> sassafras root, some flint flakes, and a couple wet fires. Yep, still the same kit that I had in there, which I gave to him as well. It's got a little secret compartment back here that keeps uh, the Pathfinder spear point, which I went ahead and gave to him too as kind of a package deal. But like I said, I knew it was going to a good place, and uh, you know, he needed one. He needed a really good knife that's going to serve him the rest of his life, which I'm pretty confident that this will. Any other blades you got on you? No. All my stuff's at home. <laughs> <laughs> he carries a Leatherman Wave. That's about it. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. No other like neck knives yet. So that's what they carry. But like I said, I do the uh, tops, Bob. Been using it more and more. BHK stuff's good. It's expensive. Yeah, but there's something to be said about expensive gear. If you have expensive gear and you use it on a daily basis, you're out in the woods on a daily basis, like, well, me and Chris are, you know, there's, Chris is filming on a daily basis. I'm out in the woods teaching on a daily basis, pretty much. So, <laughs> some people say this is expensive, and it's like $110 knife. Well, that is expensive to some people, you know. But, and, you know, it's not like I can just poof, snap my fingers and buy a $300 knife. It took me, you know, I, I, I saved six months to buy my PLSK-1 and I've been saving for six months to get a scout, to, to, to trade up for a scout. But, you know, yeah, you, you, got, good you gotta work up, you know, get something so you can start practicing your skills, like just did a video on the Schrade SCHF-17, which works really great for bushcraft type stuff. I would definitely say that's a good starter. 40 knife bucks, yeah. so you can start learning your skills and then as you progress and you start rounding out your kit, you know, put a little bit of extra money back and uh, quit smoking or something. Take that extra money, get yourself a better and better knife. You know, a lot of pe I've seen people say, you know, oh, you're just throwing all these expensive knives at me. I can't afford it. We'll go back to the beginning of my channel, which was only a year and a half ago, and I didn't have that many expensive knives. And you see, over time, it doesn't take long, but if you put your money aside, over time, build up, trade up, you know, sell something, you know, you'll have a really good kit before you know it. Well, that's the same with if, with all of your parts of your kit. You know, I started out with a, a really good army wool blanket, you know, and it served me well for many years. And then you know, I saved, 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 and I purchased the Hudson Bay. You know, it was an eight, an eight point. You know, and that blanket's phenomenal. I love that blanket. You know, canvas tarp. Went out to Menards, got a canvas tarp. It was like forty bucks. Saved, saved, saved. Just bought a tent smith, eight by eight. You know, and it's being shipped to me. You'll be seeing that on camera here pretty soon. You know, every that's part of your kit should evolve and you should, you know, replace it with some better stuff. Some of the cheaper stuff is good for a while and then will burn out. You gotta replace it, you know, and then try to replace that with better gear that's gonna last the test of time. You know, it's gonna stand that test of time. You know, your kit should evolve and you should be trying to improve it the more that you're out in the woods. You know, if you just go out in the woods once a year. You know, maybe you don't, you you don't, don't need really a BHK. Need, you don't need a BHK. You don't need a Tent Smith tarp. You know, you can just go to Walmart, outfit yourself, go out in the woods, which is great. Do it. You know, we're out in the woods more. Don't get the you, knife at Walmart, though. <laughs> don't get knives at Walmart. Yeah, uh, you know, I'm out in the woods a lot. You know, I'm, this is my livelihood, and I need gear that's going to take a pound and it's going to it's going to be with me for a long time because I don't have money to buy 50 tarps throughout the next five years. You know, I need one tarp. One knife that's going to last me, one wool blanket that's going to last me a very, very long time, and possibly something I'm going to hand down to my children as well. Well, this has been William Myers with Manus Outdoors. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, please click subscribe. It's down there. It's a little red button. You can't miss it. Liking the video really helps me and my channel out a lot, Chris's channel as well. Uh, I appreciate all your views, comments, and support. Hopefully, we'll see you out in the woods. I'm going to do a closing. You can edit that. If we see you out in the woods and we didn't know you were coming out in the woods, that could be a little creepy.
branches. So don't just come sneaking up on us out in the woods because it's going to be like, whoa, dude, where the hell did you just come from? You know, I'm just saying, you know, announce yourself. Blow a whistle. I'll have some coffee on. Okay. See you next time.